the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Actually, on September 1st, just a few hours after Donald Trump warned the good folks of the state of Alabama that they were probably in Hurricane Dorian's direct path, NOAA issued an email to the 300 plus employees at the administration, letting them know that, hey, um, if anybody asks you about the hurricane, please only stick to the maps that have been released. That includes everyone with the National Weather Service, which is a branch of NOAA. Do not, do not go out there and give your opinion on this storm. Do not go out there and contradict the president of the United States. Just say, here's the map and here are the new projections, the latest projections. And of course, the staff at the NOAA all said the same thing. Like this is obviously meant to tell us, hey, don't go out there and say that Trump's an idiot. Don't go out there and contradict him and say that he's wrong because after all, you had the National Weather Service in Birmingham, Alabama come out after the president warned Alabama of them being in the storm path. And uh, NWS in Birmingham said, no, no, you're not. Please disregard what the president said. He is totally wrong. And Noah, of course, didn't want the president to get any more embarrassed. So they have to send out this email that's now been leaked to the press. To put it another way, the president has now politicized the weather. Donald Trump has absolutely politicized the weather and the government agency that is meant to let us know what's happening with the weather. This email essentially tells us that we cannot fully trust this government organization anymore. And that's really sad because even during some of the worst administrations that this country has been through in recent decades, NOAA, the NOAA, the National Weather Service, that was an area that was typically pretty solid, right? You didn't have to worry about politics coming out of the people who track the weather. The FDA, absolutely. EPA, hell yeah. Politicized to the max, but not NOAA until now. And for those wondering at home, yes, the NOAA chief, which right now we have an acting chief because Donald Trump doesn't really like to appoint permanent people. It is a presidential appointed position. So yes, he has one of his little cronies sitting at the top of that organization right now. And they're the ones calling the shots. They're the ones helping to politicize this science-based government organization because Donald Trump's ego is so fragile that he couldn't just come out and admit, sorry, didn't mean to say Alabama. That's what's happening. We are politicizing the weather service because of the president's damn ego, because he is too proud to admit that he said the wrong word. And now we can't trust this government agency that's designed to keep us safe and warn us about deadly weather disasters headed our way. All because Donald Trump is a giant crying, whining baby man child who can't ever admit that he made a mistake. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.